in Tanzania. As of March 2021, history has been And I'm not just talking of Honorable Samia being the first female president. I'm talking of a man who was a father, a fighter, but mostly a survivor. This man was born on the 29th of October 1959, but needed to transform a nation. In five years, a nation that was struggled with corruption and classes that didn't bring any form of justification, he turned pages around. So let me take you back to the population. As of 2015, he was elected president, previously known as a member of parliament. And I honestly never really followed on politics, but was drawn by his virtue and courage to stand for what heals the land and not what it. You know, a leader is not one that fits into the commands and power. My father knows that it takes much to stand for what is right for the ones he serves. And to the moon and back, he truly sacrificed his life. Oh, how I wish he could stay longer. Whatever disease, he should have to I don't know if this is a love letter or just a burden that I feel over my shoulder. As Tanzanians, we loved you enough to respect you to call you president. But that wasn't all. You allowed us to call you Baba. Baba, we will miss you. We will cherish the moments even those we never really want to do. Thank you for showing us true love even at your worst and honor God at the very best. Honorable John Pome Mabufu, rest easy, sir. You told us enough to keep the peace, love, and hope in the nation. Our hair is